Hey, it's me. I wanted to talk to you about prayer and meditation. Sometimes people aren't sure what the difference is between the two. So I thought, why don't we chat about it? So in my in my view, prayer is like the first step toward meditation. I don't know, like I haven't often heard it put that way. Prayer is like the first step toward meditation. So what I mean by that, prayer involves thinking and concentrating our thoughts. Meditation, I feel anyway, goes a bit deeper. It's like praying with our feelings. It engages our soul, not just our mind. To move from prayer to meditation, we need some discipline and focus. It's like learning to train our mind because most of us aren't used to being mentally and spiritually active in that way. We haven't been taught to do that. You can't really dive into meditation without first learning how to concentrate through prayer. At least my experience has been when I learned how to concentrate through prayer first, meditation became a whole lot easier. So I would suggest if you're starting on this path, it's important to realize that nothing worthwhile comes without some effort. To set aside regular time each day to get closer to higher power, source, God, the universe. To connect with one's inner self on a daily basis. This helps awaken the hidden forces inside us and connects us to the energy that surrounds us. A routine, like practicing at the same time every day, I find to be really helpful. And yet, that always that doesn't always play out, <laughs> you know, it can be tough and that regular routine might not work for everyone and that's totally fair. Some people might prefer a more spontaneous approach. The key is that it's a practice, it's a daily practice or a daily ritual, even if the time and the place change. One thing that I've noticed in myself is that concentrating can be tough. Our thoughts tend to wander. Everyday things tend to distract us. So when that happens, it's easy to get discouraged and lose focus. Really easy. It's important to not let these interruptions bother us. To just gently bring our attention back to our practice. Gently anchor ourselves back to the here and now, the present. And not to forget to ask for help. So whether we believe in God, higher power, maybe just our own inner strength, asking for assistance can really make a difference. Just saying something like, help me learn how to pray, help me learn how to meditate can be powerful. Even when you're just focusing your thoughts in prayer, you're creating positive energy. Our thoughts create a reality. Each thought builds a form, and these harmonious thoughts can have a real impact, a real impact, even before you get to the deeper feeling of meditation. Once you've gotten better at concentrating during prayer, you might find that it becomes a bit mechanical, and that's when it's time to bring your prayer into the deeper layers of your soul. Meditation comes from your heart, not just our head. It's about freeing our feelings and connecting with something greater. Sometimes obstacles within us block that connection. Things sometimes we're not even aware of. So recognizing and working through these inner blocks is key. Getting guidance and support from others to help us do that is sometimes necessary. Of course, everyone's path is different and unique. There's There's no like strict rules to this. You have to find where within yourself you feel that connection. And it's not going to happen every time and that's okay. Some people say, you know, that they have to be in the mood, so to speak, to connect. I think the goal though is to learn how to access that state whenever we choose, not just when the mood strikes us. It takes time. It takes effort. It's a worthwhile practice, I believe. Pray for help with this too. Specifically, you can ask for guidance from source, from higher power, 
you know, whatever higher power you believe in, whoever sincerely asks for help receives it. There's different ways to free your soul's energy. For some, it might help to recall a time when they felt really connected and try to remember to relive that feeling. Others might find it easier to focus on a passage from the from Bible or another spiritual text that resonates with them. A spiritual text, it could be anything. The key is to find what works for you. One of the most powerful ways I've noticed to connect is through personal victories. Like overcoming a resistance or gaining a real insight into myself. Like when I manage to do that, it can free up a lot of energy and lead to a deep sense of connection. It doesn't happen every day, but when it does, that's a prime time to connect. I wanted to give an example, and I'm going to bring in the Lord's Prayer to do this. I'm going to preface this by saying we're looking at this not from a religious perspective, right? So regardless of what religion you may practice or whatever your spiritual practice is, I would um, just ask that you be open to this as a way to um, practice creating meaning through prayer. And I'm just using the Lord's Prayer as an example. So I know the Lord's Prayer while I grew up Catholic, you know, going to church with my family every Sunday. And so I've experienced, you know, the heavy dogma that can sometimes be attached to religion. So I just ask for a moment that we let that go and come at this kind of from a beginner's mind. Okay, because... When you meditate on the Lord's Prayer or similar prayers, I think you'll notice that there is a lot of depth to them. And we can create, we can find personal meaning to help us solve our problems through these wise words that have been handed down, that we've been given. So we're going to use the Lord's Prayer as an example here. For example, when you say, Our Father, for me, when I say those words, I think about how God or source is all-encompassing, right? It includes people that I love and also the people that maybe I don't get along with. And when I think of it that way, it helps me to change my attitude toward those, toward those people, right, that I may be in conflict with and brings a sense of peace. When I say, who art in heaven, it reminds me that heaven is within me, not somewhere outside, to seek the divine within myself and in others. When I say, hallowed be thy name, for me, it's about trying to understand and follow spiritual laws. Like if I'm facing difficulties, Maybe I'm unconsciously going against one of these spiritual laws. It prompts me to ask for insight into what law I may be violating or that I'm out of alignment with. When I say, thy kingdom come, to me, it's about bringing God's kingdom into my own life by understanding and applying spiritual principles. When I say, thy will be done, it's about aligning my will with what I believe is higher will, higher truth. And when I'm unsure of what that is exactly, again, it's a reminder to seek guidance and be willing to accept answers that might challenge my current beliefs. When I say, on earth, as it is in heaven, it reminds me that I need to bring spiritual practices into my everyday life. 
that it's about making the divine a reality within myself and through my actions. When I say give us today our daily bread, it can be about physical sustenance or self-care, and it's also about spiritual nourishment, prioritizing, feeding my soul as much as my body. When I say forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, it encourages me to seek forgiveness for my own mistakes, self-forgiveness, and to truly forgive others. Yeah, it can be hard, but it's a reminder that holding on to resentment only harms me more. When I say lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, it's about recognizing my own weaknesses and asking for strength to overcome them. The challenges I face often come from within. Most of the time they do. And I may need both willpower and help from higher power to overcome them. And finally, when I say, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, it reminds me that all of this, all of this, is connected to a higher power within me and around me. Anyway, just something to think about. I hope some of these thoughts resonate with you. Maybe take some time to reflect on them, see how they could apply to your own life. Ultimately, I think it's about becoming happier and to share that happiness with others by working on ourselves and seeking this deeper connection, we find a sense of fulfillment and peace within that. Thanks for listening. I'm here if you want to talk more about it. I love you. Let's connect soon.